This week I received a comment from Bavia Gautam. I hope I say it correctly. I'm getting cracking weird noises in between in my videos after rendering them. I read many have been facing the same problem. I choose MP4 as my format. Can you help me? In this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of the audio cracks that you can encounter during your footage. Let's go. Right, so let me quickly show you three ways how to do this going from worst to best. The worst way to do this is to go to the end of a clip. So I've, I've got two clips right here and I've got a jump cut. Let's pretend there is a crack in the middle where one clip goes to the second one. With the audio files, there are handles which you can drag to the left and you can drag them to the right. But if you drag them to the left just slightly, what happens is it just cuts off the audio right here. So you can make it fade in or fade out. In this case, if you just do it a little bit, you will see that the audio will be on zero at the end, preventing the crack from happening because of the difference between the two clips. This is the worst way how to do this. Let me show you another way. So let me undo that by hitting Control Z. So now we've got the two clips again. Another way is you can select the audio file and you can go to the audio tab in the inspector tab. So we've got the audio and at the end of the clip, you want it to be zero. And at the first frame before the end of the clip, you want it to be the regular audio. So I'm going to create a little keyframe here. I'm going forward one frame and I'm going to drag this to zero, which means that the audio is being cut off and that prevents the entire pop from happening. So let's undo everything by hitting Control Z again. There you go. So now we've got the two clips again and I'm going to show you the final way, which is the best way and you need the effects library for that. So if you don't see it, just click on this little box right here and it will give you the effects library. Now I'm on toolbox and you can see crossfade plus 3 dB, crossfade minus 3 dB and crossfade 0 dB. But you can also find this at the audio transitions. And in this example, we're going to use the crossfade 0 dB, I'm going to drag it between the clips. And I want to make sure that it's no longer than one frame on each side. So if I drag this in, there you go, or you can go even lower like that. This will make sure that the audio is going to zero or starts from zero and then goes to the regular volume and that prevents the pop or the crack from happening as well. And those are the three ways you can do this in DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. For this week, that's all there is to it. My name is Rico Richardson. Thank you for watching and until next time, doei!